uh, president from the uh, Minerals Council, Mrs. Nolita Fakadu, our prestigious Chief Inspector of Mines, Mr. David Masiza, all other CEOs from the Minerals Council, as well as leaders from the industry. An injury to one is an injury to all. We all remember that slogan. Let's keep that in mind as we need to be our brother's keeper. The mining industry in South Africa faces real challenges with regards to the improvement of health and safety in line with the tripartite summit plan, where we have pledged to align ourselves with the international standards by 2024, only one year away or two years away. Historically, it was claimed that training was not really a contributing factor. In most cases, cases it is stated that the training content is deemed to be comprehensive and adequate. The question, however, is how to improve adherence to standards where training content is not the issue. Complacency also is raised as a major factor in terms of health and safety related accidents and incidents. Um, I make two conclusions as departure point for the rest of my discussion. One, standard pr procedures are not adequately learned by employees. Attitude influence behavior of employees. As part of a proactive strategy decision taken by the Mine Health and Safety Council, pledge signed by all recognized unions, Mineral Council members, and on behalf of business and the inspectorate, our previous safety summit launched a very important safety drive that culminated into a very aggressive safety risk management process, which incorporates the following. We put safety first in everything we do. We make safety a way of life inside and outside of the workplace. We show genuine concern and take responsibility for our own safety and that of others. We have the right to withdraw from a dangerous condition as per section 23 of the act. We truly believe that all injuries are preventable. We continuously raise, uh, 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 reassess risk and comply with rules and procedures. To be able to implement the above, one needs to know possible hazards in the workplace and to apply the four steps to safety. It should, however, be drilled into the physique of every individual working in or on a mine. Why? The four steps to safety represents the fundamental way in eliminating accidents. It is common knowledge to everyone in the industry. In other words, we need to return back to basics. I believe that in the event that we succeed to eliminate complacency, enforce the basic four steps to safety, identify high risk areas, and if we cannot manage it, and if, if we cannot, then we withdraw as per section 23. Make a break, breakthrough in the literary gap. Provide training in a language of choice. Find user-friendly technology for training employees involving all five senses. We will be a step further on the road to, to zero harm. Yoasa acknowledges and commend all role players in terms of where we are with our safety statistics currently. And we wish to challenge all employees to pledge its support towards zero harm as mining related deaths have often too many children, widowed too many women and devastated too many families. And that is why we need to support. Uh, that is why we need your support 
in the mining industry of South Africa.